Hey guys, welcome back. It's Lucid. We just downloaded a fresh turn for Champions Arena. It's turn 23. So uh, let's see what happens. I've got a message from Therados. Uh, Olio sending us. He's diploing real hard with omniscience. The pain that Mr. Crab feels uh, when he parted the sea <clears throat> was too great last month and caused him a chest wound, uh, despite defeating all his opponents in combat. While we see that the Great Kraken of Pelagia is once again uh, among this plane, that's once again among this plane, in this plane, after some diplomatic probing, we are to understand that it won't be participating this month in the arena, and as such, we are once more sending forth Mr. Krabs. Um, it's our belief the vast amount of health the Kraken possesses will allow it to survive many hands of death. Uh, through the time it is petrified and once free, the Furious Blades from its forearms will blend Mr. Krabs to mints. We actually didn't test out uh, how that would work, but I, I trust he knows how that would happen. Um, our hope is that we may avoid direct confrontation between the great ocean dwellers uh, by allowing the Kraken a round uncontested uh, by our decapod deity. <clears throat> uh, and instead, have any who were specifically geared to fight Mr. Krabs run into the wrath of the Kraken. Uh, okay, so he's not sending in the god. Importantly, we must also point out that Mr. Krabs, the great uh, and giant head that he is, was uh, granted a most fitting epitaph, uh, epitaph uh, by the citizens of uh, Therados, who refer to him as one always at the shoulder. How fortuitous. Okay. Um, okay, let's just look at the battles here. I can't, I'm not good enough at reading to handle Olio's fancy Diplo. We have the retreating scout. Denying us a battle, but giving a point to Arco. And then we have uh, another commander. Oh, but he's coming in with a moon blade and a shroud, which is going to give him the decay weapons and defense. And he's going up against the Van Jarl. And it's just too high defense on this guy. He's 26 defense. There's no way. There is no way. I mean, he's got 15 attack, but it's 26 defense, my friends. It's still like a 2% chance to hit. And then he's got to get past Mirror Image. Not gonna happen. But, you know, it would have killed some bottom feeders. Uh, speaking of bottom feeders, we have uh, a Shark Knight. Possibly the most... Ch oh, yes, he's getting it out. Nibbles the Shark Knight. I love this. All right, Moonblade, Fate Weaving, Dragon Helmet, Shroud of the Battle Saint... And a girdle of might. This guy hits really hard. If you were a magic being, he might can near one hit you. And he's got... Yeah, it's Fate Weaving uh, and Charged Body and Chill Aura. So um, I believe this must be... Who Who's owning this? Oh, it's Atlantis. Okay. Okay, Shark Knight coming through. Um, my sound on? In here, damn thing. Um, okay, so that's Atlantis. Now we have Atlantis. That was Atlantis versus Ubar, and now we have Atlantis versus Arco. Oh, this is a prophet too. Okay. Shotgun toting mecha kangaroo. Okay. Oh, he knocks the knight off. He has knocked the knight off, and therefore the shark will lose a lot of its weapon. But it still has uh, a girdle of might and a lot of HP left. But so does the prophet. I think the prophet wins here. Wow, that was an upset in my book. Let's watch this again see what happened. So he's casting smite. Now this guy, while he has, you know, pretty good defense and stuff... He's only got 15 health. And not terribly great MR, I don't think. 12 MR. So Smite's going to be reasonably effective here. Now he misses there. Or doesn't pass MR. Gets hit. Is now down to 7 hit points. Okay, and now he gets hit by a normal attack. It wasn't the Smite that knocked him off. Yeah, I mean, this guy's got 20 attack. Oh my god. But he also has Cursed Luck and has Damaged Shield. Huh. I don't know how he gets such good attack. Oh my god. 
Oh, it's quickness, I guess, too. Oh, no, it's not quickness. It's only swiftness. How is it so high? Oh, experience is two. The profit bonus. I guess he's in friendly dominion, so he's get, gotten a two. And then a bless bonus. Well, wow. okay, yeah, because he cuts him down with the sword here pretty good. All right, so that's how that went. Uh, chalk one up for Arco. So Arco pulling in. This is, uh, I believe, early age Arco with two wins now. Uh, first killing a scout and now killing a shark knight that was kitted out to the gills. Next up, we have Old Plaja. Will he send the Kraken? He does not! So Therados got debated. Therados didn't want to send in the... Um, his uh, Krabby Claws because he was worried about the Kraken. Well, the Kraken wasn't ready for him. Kraken doesn't go, so he just sends swarm, a Swarmcaster in. I think this guy's going to... Oh, no, he won't. He just took damage for 10. I was like, he might kill all the bugs. No. It was not meant to be. So he kills uh, Hierophant. Let's see if the Hierophant had any gear. Um, P Pangea has been sending a bunch of mostly ungeared dudes, which, you know, is great and all, but the arena battles are going to get harder and harder and harder and harder. So maybe he's planning on sending his god or something in with most of the gem investment he's uh, accumulated, but time to get Kraken. All right. Uh, <laughs> I guess that could be a Pelagia joke, too. Time to get Kraken. <laughs> Uh, okay, we have the same profit coming in, but this time, oh my god. A against, okay, but he does have lower MR. Oh no, it's 19. This guy must be in power. You don't get, oh, I guess Re could, can Re get water too? That seems high for a Re. We'll have to look afterwards. Maybe it's like a lucky random. But he's got an eye catcher. And basically he stacked defense to the moon. I think this lowers defense by one though. Um, so he can maybe kill him with smite, especially if he sits here and buffs up for a while and he gets lucky. The bark skin. So far he's been resisting. He has pretty high MR, nine, or 22 MR, oof. Don't think smite's going to hit him. It's a very low chance. Oh, he casts moss body too. I mean, this prophet should have... Oh, he's also doing personal regen. So he's like, I'm going to do the full buff script. We've hardly seen anybody get through their full buff script. Quick and self, too? Oh, my God. And he doesn't have much fatigue, either. I was expecting a bit more fatigue here. Uh, he doesn't have reinvigoration, either. I don't know exactly why his fatigue is so low. So I think this is his fifth spell. Quick and self is off. Okay, and now he's running in. And if we look at him before he runs in, he's got 24 protection, 36 defense. He's quickened. He's got moss body. He's got regen. And while you're at it, liquid body would be great. But oh my gosh. What a monster. He doesn't have any way to deal with, like, spam stuff, like crowd control. Like, there's not, he kind of needs, like, a firebrand or something, maybe. I don't even know if that would help. Like, imps are probably... We haven't seen a single lifelong protection yet. All right, but he wins there. So, Tiernanog sending out a fully kitted, eat your corn, just big old beefy, uh, she-lord. And he's going to now fight a run-at-you Helheim dude. So the question is, Helheim's been doing a lot of these really low, yeah, very budget run-at-you right away with quickness. How will he handle against this guy? Because this guy's 31 defense. This guy's only 22 attack. So he's only going to have like a 5% chance to hit, and then he's got to go through mirror image and stuff. So it could happen, but it's pretty unlikely. So he gets Blessing off. Now it's 33. And this guy doesn't have, like, a lot of harass options. You know what I mean? He's just got Quickness and two attacks. He's missing. Um, there's also a Repel check he's going to have to get through from the Dancing Trident. Which it's not, like, a super high one. And this guy's got really high defense, too. So it probably won't matter, but... Mostly you can see he's just missing. Uh, hoof was repelled by the re. Okay. Uh, re hit, dancing trident. 
A bunch of missing, but I think this guy's gonna try to finish his script. So far, he's only got Blessing off. They're just sitting here missing each other. This is like uh, an elven story. Look at this. Miss, miss, miss. <laughs> Two elves meet each other in a bar. Okay, the one with the more gear kills the other one. But, um... Yeah. Wow. Did he even take any damage? I don't think so. I think he went through this undamaged. Just too much defense. All right. Well, I think uh, Tiernanog isn't going to feel too bad now. He's won two fights. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know, if you don't if you don't win anything and you send that much gear in, you feel bad. But winning two at least feels okay. Okay, we've got another Swarm Spammer here. Um, now, Trample is going to be okay. Oh my goodness. Iron Will and Gloves of the Gladiator with an Attack Ring. This guy's going to hit really hard. Um, and he's going to Trample too. But I think he'll die first. But if he gets in close, he will kill these guys. There's only four bugs left. He's got a lot of poison on him. I think he's actually going to close and kill. But he'll die too, I think. Yep. Oh my god, he lives with one HP. Two HP. How close. How close. Alright. Um, Swarm is insufficient here. So we have uh, Asphodel with the Minotaur winning that. Um, Asphodel now goes up against Tenom. Uh, this is bottom feeder versus the bottom. I think this guy should have healed back up, except he still has a disease. Oh, he didn't heal up. I guess disease stops you from healing up uh, between arena rounds. I know you do it. I think you do it normally, don't you? <gasps> oh, no! He got yeeted by a lance. Oh, man. Ash died with the clutch horse tribe chief win. Uh, all right. Next up, we have Yomi and Therados. Let's see what Therados sent in. Oh, no, he did send in Krabby Claws. Maybe he heard that the octopus wasn't going in yet, so they wouldn't bump. Oh, and the Dione has no weapons. He's feeble-minded, too. I guess he's just getting rid of the Dione. It's probably not worth much. But was he feeble-minded to start with? No, he wasn't. Scout Slayer the Dione? <laughs> Gets petrified. And yeah, this guy does not mess around. He is always going to be on... Um... He's not getting hung up on these wolves. Hand of Death, he's already in second form. Just an absolute monster. Weakened in chest wound. Oh, he doesn't have the regen thing going off anymore. I don't know what that's about. Um, all right, so win for Therados. And now we have this buff yourself to hell uh, elf against this horse tribe who poked a minotaur in the face and won. And uh, that I don't think I'm surprised by. So that's now three wins for Tiernanog. Okay. Uh, Vampire Queen, this is the first time she's had any gear. She's got some boots and a handful of acorns. Now, if she gets very, very lucky... No, he's in this tile. Are they more hit points than her? Wait, did I click on the wrong one? Oh, we, we totally clicked on the wrong one first. So we were supposed to watch this first. Uh, the Great Elf. With a million defense reduced to zero. And then Hand of Death. Yeah, I mean, it was just surgical. Right? Killing this Re. And then next up, fighting Sarmatia. She has more hit points. If she were not in Friendly Dominion, well, or even just in the tiniest bit of Friendly Dominion, it might work. 
It might be these guys could pick up enough. If you're low enough HP, these guys probably could pick up Petrify aggro. Though if you're standing in the same tile with them, it won't matter. So I don't know if that's a good plan anyway. But anyway, we saw what happened here. He hands of death her to death. Um, so yeah, um, rest in peace, Vampire Princess. And next up, we have Pelagia with the Swarmcaster, who will probably not get Swarm off. Nope. And then gets yeeted. So, yeah. Uh, I think the winners on this one were mostly... I mean, it was expensive for Tiernanog, but they won three rounds, so they got a fair number of points. They got four points. And then um, Therados. Uh, Therados got one, two, three, four... Four wins, and then the arena battle which was uh you know six and then the one point for coming so that's uh, seven points for him and i believe last round he pulled into position one in terms of total points uh what did he get or what would he have gotten the short sword oh cool uh and i think that's it folks hope y'all are enjoying um let's see if people have figured out what it uh what they're going to do to take down mr krabby claws because so far his reign continues uninterrupted and with that, we will see you next time.